Hello folks and welcome back to J6 Flips. It is a Thursday here in the San Fernando Valley and we are going to Goodwill Bins or the Goodwill Outlet, depending on what you want to call it. Officially the Goodwill Outlet, um, but more commonly known as the Goodwill Bins where they sell things per pound rather than per item like they do in the regular stores. Um, we got to drive a little bit so we might also hit some thrift stores in the, in the area of the bins out in Van Nuys. Um, but either way, we've got to stop the storage first, so let's go ahead and pack up those sales. Alright, so we're at the J6 Flips mothership here. We can get this thing unlocked. Alrighty, so quick three packages done. Just threw the tie in an envelope. There's the baby Jesus is threw him an envelope, and then that Adidas hat I threw in the box. All of them ship first class, so it's like three, four dollars to ship. The rest is profit, so uh, now there's time to go find some more stuff, so let's go source. Just wanted a quick reminder for the new people to the channel. My name's Jonathan, I'm a part-time reseller here in the San Fernando Valley. I get most of my goods from Goodwill Bins, Goodwill, Salvation Army, uh, garage sales, uh, state sales, anywhere I can get stuff for cheap uh, that I can flip online for a profit. So today we're heading to the bins. That's probably the cheapest place I find stuff um, other than garage sales. So let's go see what we can find. these all put together and that's a lot of mud not sure what it is seems cool all right so i end up spending 28 dollars on this full bag obviously this blanket blanket takes up a, spot, a lot of space so does a smaller one first time picking up blankets but i've seen some good stuff and some good sales and returns from them so hoping i can get some profit from those all right, folks, so we're done with the bins, um, but since I'm on this side of the valley anyways, I'm on Van Nuys Boulevard. There's a couple of thrift stores I don't usually go to, so I'm going to stop in and see what they have and maybe make it one of the stops I usually make. All right, so we're at MTA Thrift, or MTA Group Thrift Store. Never been here. Looks cool. And there's a sign that says something percent off. Can't read it, but something's off. I'm just gonna get Max Mother's blue hat, Dodgers. I'm gonna get this vintage reporter's jacket. Sell a comp for 20. This is five, so just to get something to support a little bit. And then maybe I'll come back and see what else they got next time. All right, so we are almost at the Valley Value Center. Uh, I've heard a lot about it, haven't ever been in. I think it's an old Circuit City, but. Um, looks massive. I've heard it's a pretty big spot, so hopefully we can find something in the in the jumble of stuff. 
just pulling into the parking lot and this place is crazy um, if there was something here there probably isn't anymore but definitely gonna go in just to look around too and just to get familiar with it but it looks like everyone's already come and gone I see that guy he's got two bags so hopefully they're replenishing the shelves too so maybe we'll see something new all right so this is the outside this is why I think it's an old circuit city pretty sure that's true Very clean, barely used. And then a better find, probably a better flip, are these Ortho Feet shoes, five bucks. Some of the comps are crazy, we'll see those later. Spectre Supra, eight bucks. Just need to be clean. This is dirty. Uh, those Nikes and then the Supreme uh, Spectre. I don't think I've seen so many workers on at one place at one time. Excuse me. Thank you. Four pairs of shoes. A little bit of a cash debacle again. I'm starting to think that's gonna be my Achilles heel. Where I just always need cash, so. And I don't like walking around with a bunch of cash, so <laughs> we gotta figure that balance out. But they had a machine, 250B, so not bad. Busy, very busy, but worth it. Worth the wait. Got some good stuff. They're turning a good profit, so we'll see how it goes. started to come here when I uh, used to sell candles to McLeod Ale Brewing over here in Van Nuys. It was the closest Mexican spot, so I would drop off candles, and with the money they paid me, I would immediately go and spend it on tacos. The food is so good, everything's like homemade, the tortillas are, are authentic, so it makes it just stand above the rest, so that's why I always come back. I mean, come on. Homemade tortilla, check them out. Victory Boulevard, if you're ever in Van Nuys. Alright, so we're refueled and uh, heading to the Salvation Army and then maybe one more also on the way back. Everything from here on is heading towards home, so winding down a little bit, but um, definitely still looking. Alright, change of plan. Salvation Army was a donation center, so we went to the closest Goodwill. On these cool looking things, the material is stretchy. Got this awesome logo, cool button. I looked it up for $6.99, 25% off. It's definitely coming. So I told myself I'd stop buying big objects, but I bought that vacuum off uh, Facebook Marketplace, and I think I'm gonna end up losing money on it because 
well, I'll just share the numbers after. But right now I'm going to uh, package it up with this crazy box I got and this huge bag of uh, peanuts. Um, let's see how long it takes me, though. So the monstrosity is packed. It's gonna cost $52.86 to ship it, plus the 30 I spent to get this box and this lifetime supply of peanuts. This rivals the amount that uh, Art of Resale had, so I put it up against anyone else's peanut sack. So this is gonna go ahead and go out, plus 30, 80, plus 60 I was in. Didn't make much on that, but again, I'm probably not gonna get any more big items like that.